the Marines, stuff like that. I think with tanky backs, it actually makes you think about where to move your army, where to position your army, using your map to your advantage as well, because if you get that upper oh, yeah. ground, then you get that tank advantage that can shell over the low ground units. That, and uh, uh, for TVT enthusiasts, we do have Runes of Ceres as the map. This is probably one of the most exciting maps. It is the map that we had for TY versus Alive, one of the best TVT game. games, or games in general that we've had so far. Yeah, and if we get to a cross-map situation spawn point here, we could see a long game, but uh, we'll just have to see once we get into the game. Yeah, so as I said before, Runes of Ceres, let's see the predictions. 7-0 for innovation. This does not surprise me at all, especially with the way TVT is going these days. Let's jump right into game number four right now, guys. For, uh, innovation versus Bunny on Runes of Ceres. Yeah, up in the top right, in the red from C. Dantis, it is Bunny. And his opponent cross positions from SK Telecom T1, it is Innovation. As you said before, we do have cross spawns here. And Ruins of Ceres, the largest map in the map pool in Pro League. We're def I think we're going to see a long game here. Yeah, I would not be surprised. I mean, this is kind of what you were hoping for, GTR. And uh, I think we have a nice little treat on our hands. We'll have to thank Hero for extending the series and uh, giving this to us, even if Innovation does win. You don't get to that ace match. I would like to see an ace match, though. I'm really curious what the planning is from both teams, because both of these teams have a lot of options to who the ace player could be. I mean, CJ, you have either Viola or Hero. And then SKT, <laughs> I can just do a whole bucket list of players for yeah. SKT. You it's like SKT, you can use anyone. And then we see like Impact or something, that's like, yeah. what? Young Sheik comes up, we're like, what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay. As uh, we see here, Bunny with the uh, scouts, it looks like he's gonna scout southwards. The innovation gonna scout northwards. So it looks like both players are gonna scout each other at the same time. Uh, Bunny sli slightly behind though. Yeah, a uh, slightly later scout here, not too much of a difference, but uh, either way, as you were saying, going to get into a bit of a longer game here. Uh, this map is really interesting for TVT, uh, you know, even just based on what we've seen so far for some of the matchups, it's you can get the tanks into such funky positions, you know, around the third base, you can drop from going to doing aggression to the third base to dropping into the main because it's so close. It's another reason why Blink Stalkers are so good on this map as well. Um, you can use Liberators to zone out a lot of different zones on this map as well if it does get to that, you know, position in this TVT. Uh, we are going to have a Reaper popping out here for uh, Bunny. Let me take a look and see if... Yeah, they both actually made a Reaper. So yeah, so very similar. both these players aren't going to scout the main base, but they're going to see that the expansions are down at the natural expansion. So both players not going to surpri be surprised at what's going on right now. Yeah, and I, w I wonder what the follow-up is going to be from these two players. Are they going to open up with anything funky, or are they just going to try to play that macro game, get your third bases out quick, and try to make as many tanks and marines and outplay your opponents? I, I feel like if there's anyone who's going to come out here and try to go for some kind of wonky build, it would have to be Bunny. I mean, he, he's definitely the underdog in this in this series. Pro League is set up in such a way that it's a best of one. If you can just sneak one game from your opponent, that's that's all you got to do. That's your only job. So Yeah, and if you don't have any individual league commitments, uh, you have a lot of time to prepare for your opponent. Uh, if yeah, so the lineups come out on Friday, mm -hmm. so it means it gives the players the weekend to prepare for Pro League against their opponent, and uh, we'll just have to see how Bunny approaches this matchup, him being the underdog. Yeah, looks like he's going to start with the Widow Mine here. We'll see if he does commit to any heavy Widow Mine harassment. We do have the first tank out for innovation, pretty standard play. He's trying to get those tanks out as fast as possible, start dropping them out on the map. Yeah, the question is what he decides to build from the starboard, and instead of going for that medivac to do some early harassment, he's going the safe option, going for that viking. As we see here, Bunny 
Looks like he might be going for Tech Lab uh, on that Starport. We'll just have to see how he goes. He's actually going for a third command set behind this. Good move considering the uh, cross forms. Yeah, trying to get ahead there is going to make a Cyclone off of the back of this for that defense. And uh, yeah, we are going to have that Viking popping out here now. Looks like the Barracks now going to switch and create that Tech Lab. Try to get that stim out here eventually. Just continuously making those tanks while having that Viking out on the map. Just going to stay very safe on two base for now. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how both players are playing it safe, but they're deciding to play it safe by building different units. We see here Bunny going for that Cyclone, going for that Viking. Meanwhile, Innovation trying to get those tanks earlier on, but he's also got the Viking and he's got these uh, Marines. And actually going for uh, Raptor hmm. Vikings here, which is uh, looks like he wants to take control wow. of the air earlier than his opponent. Yeah, this is really interesting. I, I don't think he's scouted the third base of Bunny, but I don't I don't see Innovation going for a third base here anytime soon. He's going to be putting on the pressure. Maybe once that stim pops out, he's going to have three Vikings for the sky to just control the air, make sure he can get his tanks into a good position. He's going to have a very strong push coming across here. I think this might not be expected out of Bunny, especially when you're this far apart uh, in terms of spawns. Oh, nice move there from innovation actually well he saw that scan pop off from bunny and knowing the range of that scan moves his vikings back there nice subtle move there from innovation to deny information from for bunny yeah very nicely done we do have the first drop coming out of innovation a couple of drops actually with that reactor starport gets a couple of these medevacs out here he's going to escort these two tanks across the map and begin his harassment already in this game yeah i mean Bunny doesn't really have that too many units that can deal with this right now. Remember that he decided went go for that Cyclone rather than uh, the earlier tanks. And uh, I think Innovation could do a lot of damage here. Yeah, he definitely could. I'm not sure how good that uh, Cyclone's going to be here. If he doesn't have any control of the air, no vision. Can easily drag those uh, tanks out of the, the line of sight of the Cyclone. You can just move your uh, your air units out of position. And here we go, boosting in the tanks. Immediately, the CC gets lifted. Boy, trying to use that Cyclone there to take some hits on the tanks, but those tanks are sieged up already, so it seems that innovation oh. here. Oh, nice attack there on the siege tanks. It's going to be really hard for Bunny to get in, uh, defend this. Yeah, he has no vision of the sky. And now this production is sieged. And uh, he's got these three Vikings that can just chill right over this starport and defend. It looks like Bunny's going to try to come from behind. But Innovation has to be quick on the draw here to pick up, and oh, there he goes. Oh, that's really close there. The Marines could have picked off those tanks while they're picking up the medivacs. And, oh, nice, nice flank there from Bunny. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah, definitely got a bit a lot worse. Innovation loses all three of his Vikings, and now these medivacs have to get out. They do have a boost. They did get a couple of nice shells onto a pocket of Marines there, but uh, he did lose all of his Vikings, as I was saying. Now Innovation. Uh, no third base. He is going to go for a follow-up push here now, but he does not not uh, any longer have control of the sky. Yeah, he's lost those Vikings, and uh, he's behind with his uh, third command center, so I feel like in this situation, Innovation must be feeling the pressure now, not knowing that he hasn't got that third command center yet. So looks like he wants to at least kill this third base off of Bunny. Yeah, and we'll see if he's going to be able to do it here. He does have that stim almost complete lining up. Or no, he does have the stim complete. He's almost got that combat shields complete here. Oh, but this plus one, plus one is about to hit for Bunny. So that would be a huge benefit for him if uh, Innovation is very slow with his attack here. Hey, uh, you see here Bunny actually scanning for the lack of the third. So we'll see how he defends this, knowing the fact that Innovation wants to do a lot of damage here. Yeah, we do have the plus one here for Innovation. But as you were saying, one, one about to complete now for Bunny. And this is going to be a really interesting spot. You see a sensor tower going down because he wants to know exactly what angle Innovation is going to try to come from. And it looks like here Innovation is just boosting forward with these medivacs. Drop the siege tanks down, doing a lot of damage. There's a combat shield here on the Marines, just wrecking that face onto Bunny. Oh, and he's got underneath these Vikings as well. A fantastic position. They're going to force a lift now. Those five tanks in the back were just a perfect position for Innovation to shell all of the tanks of Bunny and all of the Marines as well. I mean, look at the tank count here. Only two tanks of Bunny compared to the seven of Innovation. Innovation just drop here and there's not much Bunny can do about it because he's got less tanks than his opponent. Yep, this is what this map is all about, getting positioned in the main with their tanks, and he has done it. Bunny doing a nice job, though, getting a nice surround on these tanks. He's taken out a lot of them. Not much support for the tanks, but it's not going to be enough. 
as one tank survives and a bunch of Marines here with the combat shields, as you mentioned, doing a nice job. Now, trying to get underneath these medevacs, going to snipe one of those and the Viking here as well. Yeah, I thought that uh, once he did those damage to the Marines, he'd just pull back and lift off it. Looks like Innovation's not even thinking of taking a third base. He wants to kill Bunny right now. Yeah, and he's done a pretty nice job of it so far. He's got so many more Marines. He's got at least 30 more. He's got the tanks in the main now shelling that production. And Bunny here can barely even produce anything. One tank is going to pop out, but that factory now even getting pretty low. Yeah, if he loses his factory, that's going to be huge news here for Bunny. As, uh, actually, Innovation got a hit for the kill. Nice choke point there. Oh. It working against Bunny there, but oh, I, think, I think Innovation's done it. Yeah, stimming in there, got his tanks in a better position. Now underneath that command center, the follow-up here from Innovation. That's just going to be way too many units. And Bunny is going to fall here in game number four. GG. GG. Nicely played there from Innovation. And SK Telecom takes out this series against CJ, enters 3-1. to one. Yeah, really nice idea from Innovation. He's like, yeah, I know it's Runes of Saren's cross spawns, but ah, whatever. I'll, I'll just try to kill you off the two base. I don't need to take any bases. He probably knew that Bunny would want to take that longer game, get that third expansion up, and just wanted to put on the pressure. It was a really nice job. Yeah, really nice job there from Innovation. Noticing the window of attack timing there uh, when uh, Bunny took his third base, but yeah, nicely played there from Innovation, and no surprises, SK Telecom keep on winning. Yeah, I, I just love TVT on that map. You know, it, it's so exciting to see Innovation boosting in with the tank of axe, the flying tanks, as I like to call them, and just get a nice position there on the third base. I love the harass as well into the follow-up push. You know, just do a bit of damage early early on, get some nice trades, and then, uh, you know, just not, not necessarily an all-in. I mean, he didn't have a third base up and coming, but uh, he was, you know, just going for a lot of pressure there. Yeah, so uh, as I said before, we're going to see the uh, MVP. So who do you think MVP is going to be? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it'll be Innovation. Uh, actually, you know you know what? Maybe Dark. I, I, I think it might be Dark I here. I think because Dark, because he took out a quite even opponent in Buell. But yeah. we just have to see what the uh, Korean press decide on. I believe they are the ones that vote for the MVP. As we see here, the results for today's uh, match between CJ and SK Telecom T1. CJ continuing their slump, only taking one win against the Behemoth. That is SK Telecom T1. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Dark, I, I feel like, thinking about this more, I think he would be the MVP. I mean, he, he kind of went for a failed all-in and then, like, slowly pulled his way back. I would love to hear what he has to say about that matchup in general if, if, as well. If Dark was the, if he's the MVP, of course. Uh, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he will be the MVP. No doubt about it. Yeah.